Yeah, it, it's um, Stan, so you can see me. Uh, I never know quite what the answer to that is. I mean, it, it, I think I think the answer is as boringly obvious as it depends. Uh, um, I mean. You know, frankly, just as we were negotiating the Good Friday Agreement, if I'd come out and said to Ian Paisley, after, hey, look, Ian, uh, by the way, just before you go, I've decided to become a Catholic. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that would have been an immensely positive contribution to the process. Um, on the other hand, I think what being a person of faith can do in a, in a context in which re religious faith is an issue is it can locate you as somebody who kind of understands about faith. So obviously it depends what reputation your particular brand of faith has, right? You could be reputed to be as kind of fanatic in your faith, which obviously wouldn't be helpful. But if you, I have never found it a problem, either in the Northern Ireland context. In fact, I found it mildly an advantage to be known as generally a person of faith. And likewise, I would say, in the Middle East, now I don't put a lot into that, but um, but I think also one interesting thing about the world of faith today is that people, because because the world of faith also feels that it's very much under attack from secularism. If you are someone of faith, you kind of feel a connection with someone of faith, even if they're a different faith. <laughs> I, I, I find so it can play in that sense. I think. Uh, a positive role too. But I mean, Danforth's example in Sudan was very interesting, I thought, in that, in that light, because obviously that gave him a position from which he was able better to, to pursue politics of reconciliation. 